Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. I just wanted to sit down and do a little bit of a first impressions because I decided I caved and I got the Lorac I Heart Brunch palette. And this is kind of like a pastel palette. I almost got the Kevin D pastel goth one, but the color, there weren't enough colors in there for me to justify the price. There was only like 10, I believe. And this one has a few more. And I'm really excited to try it. And I swatched it in the store, but I have not opened my package quite yet. And for this eyeshadow palette, it is $44. And it includes a mini eyeshadow primer and brush. So we shall see how the brush is. Dang, and it's a pretty nice brush. Um, it's pretty soft, it's kind of stiff. We'll see how it goes. There's kind of like a more small detail brush and then a fluffier end for blending. And then it says Lorac. And here is the little eyeshadow primer. This will last you a really long time. You don't really need a whole lot of primer. Um, I've tried this one in the past. It's not really my most favorite primer, but I do like to use it with the Lorac ones because I feel like maybe they'll work better. The eyeshadows, I mean. But that is a pretty nice get. And I also own the regular Lorac Pro Original. And I was looking it up and it looks like uh, looks like that this original palette also retailed for forty-four dollars, and it did came it did come with a eyeshadow primer just like this as well. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Uh, as you can see, it's definitely been worn and loved a lot. Um, these colors are really nice, and they're perfect for like several different looks. And I love the shimmers on the bottom. I'm almost considering getting the Morphe Shimmer Palette. I forget what number it is exactly, but it's like a whole palette of all shimmers, so we'll see, but I gotta enjoy this palette first. And here is the palette. I think it's really pretty. I like the pink and the holographic. Uh, the only thing I know it's gonna be super dirty, like this one was black and it's super dirty, so this one's gonna be white and really dirty. But I, I don't really mind. Uh, it just means that a palette is really loved. Oh, that's cute. So it comes with this little sleeve. And here are the eyeshadows. And in my eyes, there's some really pretty, like, uh, crease shades that you can use. Like this one, this one, this one. And then they also have some really nice matte, like, lid shades. Such as this one. You could use this one. This one looks like more of a shimmer. And when I um, swatched it, it was also more of a shimmer. And then these blue and this this green are really, really pretty shades. And I'm very excited about the purple lavender and also just all of it, really. I think it's going to be really fun to create looks. And I think there'll be a lot of opportunities to be creative and try different things. And I was just going to do a new eye look and try the Lorac palette just to give it give it a chance because I'm very excited and I'm very excited I got it um, and you guys can be along for my first impressions my base I'm gonna go with the color pancakes this feel just as creamy as like the Lorac original but we'll see if the pigmentation is there and for a crease shade I'm gonna go in with the color sorbet Go in with 
the color blueberry scone. gonna take the color gluten free for like a lid highlight and just for kicks we'll take some lavender Just took a little bit of lavender and blueberry scone and just did a little bit underneath the eyes. All right, so my final impressions on this palette. Um, I think the eyeshadows are gorgeous, obviously. That's why I got it. Um, I don't think if you're someone that likes neutral and kind of everyday looks, I don't think this is something that you'll really enjoy all that much. I'm not the type of person that has to have like their black and their basic browns because I already have so many eyeshadows already and you probably do too that you can just reach for those. But I think these are just fun pops of color that you don't normally use and then maybe this will inspire you to make some looks that you normally wouldn't create. Um, I think I want to keep playing around with this palette but so far I definitely enjoy it and I would definitely recommend um, I think they have like the creamy feeling of the Lorac palettes but they're a little bit softer and they're not they don't have as much follow I think because they are such lighter shades that there isn't as much follow as with the Lorac original palette sometimes when you dip into the darker shades you'll have so much fallout underneath that you need to add concealer and I didn't feel like I needed to do that this time um but all in all, I feel like this is going to be a great palette. Besides that, it's going to get super dirty because I'm going to use it very much. But so far, I really enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy this look and first impressions. I'll be posting videos every Tuesday and Saturday. And feel free to subscribe. And I'll, help. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.